So you might have heard me say in another video that I'm not a big fan of the cold and yet here I am recording this video in the middle of winter in Moscow of all places. What the hell is going on? Well, all I can really say by way of an explanation is that love will make a man do some crazy things. My girlfriend's from Moscow, that's what I'm doing here. But you know, I've also found that it's quite nice to visit cold places. When you're stuck in the winter and you're waiting and waiting and waiting for it to end and you can't escape, that's what sucks. But we're only here for a month, so it's still quite nice and new and exciting. And it surely helps that I can work inside from my laptop in this cozy apartment every day and I don't have to go out there in that miserable, horrible, freezing cold. Hey, we were just talking about you. All good things, all good things. Anyway, let's get to the main point of this video. And what we're gonna figure out here is if you have what it takes to earn a good living online. And right off the bat, I have some good news for you. And that is that there are literally endless opportunities out there for earning money online. I put together this article, for example, that lists 101 different ways you can make money online. So you can help design greeting cards, you can be a voice talent, a virtual bridal consultant, a mock online juror. And these aren't just ideas. These are actual, real job opportunities that you can apply for today and do from anywhere in the world. Here's another article along the same lines. This one lists 90 different creators on a platform called Patreon and how they're making money. And this one right here is my favorite. A guy teaching the ukulele online has almost 1,000 people paying him a combined $4,233 per month. F is for frolic through all the flowers. U is for ukulele. So that is insane. And it's also brilliant because if some random dude can earn $4,233 a month, teaching the goddamn ukulele online, well then surely there's a way, dozens of ways actually, for you to earn a living online as well. Now, having heard that, I hope you're feeling optimistic, I hope you're feeling excited. Like 98% excited, 2% scared. But you might also be noticing that little voice in the back of your head that's piping up and saying something like, yeah, I'm sure there are lots of opportunities out there for making money online, but I can't take advantage of them because of X. And you know what? You might be right. But let's not make any assumptions here, okay? Let's go through and break down six common reasons why you might struggle or even fail to build an online business. First, I don't have any skills. So you might be thinking you don't have any skills at all that you can use to start earning a living online. Not even basic ukulele skills. Let it go, let it go. Well, first of all, that's probably not true. Well, the ukulele thing is probably true, but trust me, you probably most likely do have offline skills that are transferable to the online world. And hey, even if not, there are a whole bunch of skills you can learn very quickly to start earning a good living online. For example, a former student of mine, Justin from the USA, he started out with no skills to speak of, and he learned enough in two months to start earning money online and a year later he was getting paid $50 an hour consistently. I actually spoke to Justin on Skype a couple of weeks ago and he told me he was traveling around Southeast Asia and he just landed his first client at $100 an hour. That could just as easily be you in a year or two. No reason why not. So if you don't have any skills right now for working online, that's okay. Many other people have felt like that and they've gone on to build successful online businesses anyway. You can do the same. Can you hear that? There's like a bunch of dudes chipping ice outside the window. Good old winter messing up my video. Anyway, let's move on. Another reason, the second reason why you might think you are gonna struggle or even fail to build an online business, uh, another limiting belief you might hear from that little voice in the back of your head, that one is, I'm not good with computers. That's fine too. Look, here's a list of 50 non-technical founders in technology. So these are people who've built billion dollar tech companies like Amazon, Reddit, LinkedIn, YouTube. They've built those companies without being very good with computers. 
All you really need to know how to do on a computer is navigate the web effectively, right? Because for every question you have, for every roadblock you run into, there's an answer out there at the end of a Google search or two, waiting for you to find it. So not having any skills and not being very good with computers, those excuses should not stop you from earning a good living online. They are overblown and are largely irrelevant. Now, let's look at some legitimate reasons why people often struggle and even fail to earn a living online. So the first is, don't have enough time. If you're already super busy and you barely have time to scratch yourself, that's a bad sign because honestly, it does take time to build an online business. Unless you're way smarter than everyone else or you have some other kind of exceptional advantage, you're simply not going to build a successful online business in only four or five hours per week. I'm sorry, but if it was that quick and easy, everybody would be doing it. So I recommend you set aside 10 hours per week at the absolute minimum to build your online business. And if 10 hours per week sounds like it's too much right now or simply not possible, then stay tuned for my video on how to free up more time. Next, you're likely to struggle building an online business if you're in debt or you're struggling to pay the bills. It's like this, right? Most of the people I've seen succeed at building an online business have been calm and thoughtful, not frantic and frazzled. The sky is falling, a piece of it just hit me on the head. If you're in debt or you're struggling to pay your bills at the moment, you're gonna be stressed, you're gonna be somewhat desperate, and that mental state, it, it's just not conducive to building a business. Go get yourself a regular job instead, pay off your debt, build up some savings, and once the pressure's off and you feel like you can breathe again, then, then you can start thinking about earning some money online. All right, next one. You're likely to struggle building an online business if you have a poor track record of providing value. Let me ask you this. If I were to call up, not gonna do it, but if I were to call up your last three bosses and ask them about your performance in the workplace, would I hear good things? If not, that's a bad sign. Because the people I see struggling the most to earn a good living online are the same people I see struggling to make a good living offline. These are people whose primary interest is getting paid the greatest amount of money for providing the least amount of value. Let me say that again, because it's really important. These are people whose primary interest is getting paid the greatest amount of money for providing the least amount of value. And such people, they tend to struggle working online just as they tend to struggle working at regular offline jobs. Because ultimately, you succeed the same way at both, by providing value. That's what money is exchanged for. And that's true whether you're working at a supermarket checkout, at an investment firm, or doing something online. So if you've never done well in a regular job, if you're not experienced at providing value in any kind of business or workplace setting, before you start building your own business and trying to earn some money online, I recommend that you go and get yourself a regular offline job where the stakes are much lower and start practicing delivering value there. Once you get good at that, you'll be much better equipped to earn a good living working for yourself online. Okay, one more and we're finished. You're likely to struggle earning a living online if you hate working in isolation. For me personally, I can sit here quite happily all day on my own in my apartment, working away on my laptop, but that kind of isolation might make you quite sad and lonely and depressed. I'm alone. Alone? Now you can of course use co-working spaces, you can work from cafes, you can work as part of a remote team. So there's ways to offset this and it's not a deal breaker by any means, but I did want to mention it here because some people can find it quite jarring to go from a busy office environment or working outdoors to suddenly it's just you pretty much all day alone in front of a screen. So do take that into consideration before you go building the next big internet thing, okay? Okay. Let's do a quick recap then. So there on the screen, you can see the six reasons why you might struggle to earn a good living online. These two reasons you don't need to worry about. These four reasons you do. 
Now, I have a little challenge for you. I want you to tell me in the comments below this video two things. Number one, what is your greatest strength for working online? And number two, what one weakness or obstacle will you need to overcome to build your online business? So go ahead and leave your response below this video. I do read all the comments. And last thing, this video that you're watching is part of my Start Earning Online video series. So if you want more videos like this showing you step by step exactly what it takes to build an online business, then click through to the link that's below this video, probably somewhere, and you can sign up for the full series. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you again soon.